Hello again, in this video we're going to talk about lasers and in particular the helium neon laser. So you might have seen this at school. Um, these are the these are the lasers that uh, that are used in schools generally. Um, they're, they're not too intense. The uh, the light that's emitted from them is uh, is not especially powerful, and uh, and so it's less likely that injuries will occur at school. So a helium neon laser. What is it? What's going on inside? What I've drawn here is a um, is the laser tube, and um, we we also call this the gain medium. Oh, and I just wanted to say also, a lot of people don't know that laser is actually an acronym. Uh, it stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So here's the gain medium, and inside here we have uh, what helium. I'll, uh, I'll do the helium as a yellow dot, and the neon as purple. I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. That's quite bright. Okay, so. We have our helium, and there's about 15% helium contained in the tube. The laser cavity, or the gain medium, can be named several different things. And the other 85% is neon. And I'll draw these as quickly as possible. I just want to give you an impression. I want to actually visually show that there's much more neon than there is helium. Okay, that might be enough. I might say here 85% approx. And okay, so Neon gas, helium gas. Uh, neons, the helium's in there for a reason, and the neon's in there for a reason. Obviously, the neon has something called a, a metastable state, which is a relatively long-lived, uh, excited state. So this is the neon here. We're talking about neon, and um, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about metastable states later, but um, a metastable state um, is a uh, long uh, time excited, I'll call it. Um, okay, and metastable states we've all experienced in, uh, in uh, the hands on your watch, if your watch glows uh, in the dark or uh, with with TVs after you switch TVs off at um, in the in the night uh, and uh, the room is dark, you might notice that the the TV screen itself has a has a bit of a glow and uh, and that that's because the 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 atoms in the in the phosphorus behind the screen that phos phosphorus dust uh, have a metastable state and so they they stay there for a while and they're emitting light um, very low intensity light but they're emitting light all the same. So this is our gain medium or our laser cavity and we actually put a potential difference across here and there's our cathode, uh, sorry, our, our negative cathode, sorry, I always mix those up and this is our anode and this is a high potential difference. Uh, electrons are liberated and accelerated across towards the anode. Um, so this is uh, electrons, and there's lots of them, lots and lots and lots of them, and they pass across there, accelerating all the time. Okay, so we have some acceleration. And with the energy that they have, some of them collide with the, the helium atoms. And um, this causes the helium atoms to go to excited states. And I'll talk a little bit about excited states in a second. Um, 
why you say, why do we have two gases in there? Why can't we just have the electrons accelerating, colliding with the neon and, and, and the neon um, being basically the neon being the gain medium? Well, uh, that's because the, the helium is more efficient in doing it, uh, put simply. Okay, so that's our gain medium. Um, okay, what is an excited state? Uh, this will be a little bit of revision for the students in my class. Now, yeah. if we have if we have an electron, and this is uh, I'll actually describe this first. This is an atom, and and these are two states in within that atom. That's its ground state. Uh, and th this is the state that uh, that the, the the atom is in at, at room temperature, the state that it uh, resides in mostly. It's not energized at all. And this is the E1 state, so the first excited state. Now, the electrons come in, and uh, I'll draw a little electron here. They have kinetic energy. They they collide with this helium, and they cause it to excite. Of course, uh, in, any collision is going to there's going to be a transfer of energy, and this this helium excites very specifically to a very specific uh, energy state, and that has a value of about 20.61 eV. That's pretty precise. Uh, so that's our helium, and our neon. A little bit more complicated. This is our ground state neon. This is the second excited state. This is the third excited state. Now. Um, what we have here, the helium actually collides itself with the neon. So uh, we have a collision occur. And the neon gets excited. And this transition, we call this a transition from the ground state to the third excited state. Um, corresponds to a change in energy of uh, 20.66 eV. And so they're not exactly the same, but they're very close. This collision, uh, there's energy lost somewhere. Um, or, or, um, yeah, so don't worry too much about that. They're very, very close. And, and it's likely, it's, it's quite likely that collisions with helium atoms and neon atoms uh, are going to result in this neon being excited to this state. This state here, this E3 state, is a metastable state. And I talked about that before, that's a, a relatively long-lived state. So the neon's happy to stay there for a while. Um, there's another transition here and I'll do this one in red because this is the one that results in our laser light. Helium neon laser is in the red region, and and that that transition, call that a transition. Try and keep up with some of the lingo. Transition of 1.96 eV. Uh, not going. The neon atom is not transitioning straight down to the ground state, it can drop to this E2 state. And so it still has a way to go. It still has energy to lose to, to drop de down to its ground state. Um, but we're particularly interested in this metastable state. Uh, what is stimulated emission? Um, so our light amplification, we haven't talked about the amplification yet, but by stimulated emission of radiation, what is stimulated emission? And I'll do this in uh, green. Stimulated emission. What is it? 
uh, if an atom is in an excited state and interacts with an incoming photon that has exactly the same energy as the excited atom would emit in falling to the ground state, then the photon can stimulate the emission of the same energy photon from the excited atom. So uh, if we um, if we have, I'll draw this again, some more energy diagrams for atoms. If we have a photon, and I'm going to say, uh, no, I'll keep this yellow at the moment. Photon incident on this atom. Remember, this is energy levels in an atom that I'm describing here. Um, and what are energy levels in an atom? Well, uh, we like to say that uh, energy levels are where uh, the electrons are jumping to to new shells they're going up they, they're, they're being excited the, the atom is having more energy um, this is absorption so what's happening is the light this is a photon is coming into this atom and and causing it to jump to this new energy level whatever that energy level may be very short time after and I believe it's approximately 10 to the minus 8 seconds. Very, very short time. The atom doesn't like to be in its excited state, so it drops back down to its ground state. And by the conservation of, conservation of energy, of course, um, it must emit something. It must give away something. And it gives away another photon of exactly the same energy. And we call that spontaneous emission okay sorry about my emission oh, I'll go back one more emission okay absorption to the atom 10 to the minus 8 seconds afterwards spontaneous emission and uh, photon okay stimulated emission however is is this this happens we have a photon incident on an atom again and the energy levels in that atom the atom is already in an excited state and if that's a metastable state this is some metastable state uh, this photon can stimulate this atom to emit uh, to to drop an energy level and emit a photon, but of course it's already in an excited state. So when it drops down to the ground state, it wants to emit a photon anyway. So we have two photons of equal energy uh, that are in phase, and uh, they have a constant phase relationship between them. Um, and uh, and and so essentially what's happening here is uh, it would look as if uh, we have a certain amount of light going in and and double that double the amount of light coming out and that's uh, that stimulated emission and so a photon of certain energy, that energy corresponds exactly to this energy transition and two photons of the same energy as the original photon and as the same and the same energy as this transition uh, are emitted. And I might stop there and continue afterwards.